Hello to everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to find inverse Laplace transform in MATLAB. In order to do so, first of all, you need to write certain commands CLC, clear all, close all. These are basically the commands to clear the command window. Now, after that, we are going to write one comment. For that, make use of modulus command. So, write modulus. We are going to find this inverse Laplace transform using function. So now let's have a look at the formula. In the formula, we can see that it consists of symbol S and T. The input will be in terms of S and the output which will be obtained will be in terms of T. So we need to define these two symbols first. So for that, make use of sims command, write sims S T. So we have defined the symbols now. After this, we are going to make use of the, for the command in order to find this inverse Laplace transform. Let's take a input symbol from the user. So fs equal to 1 upon s square. This is the input function. We're going to find the Laplace transform of this function. So for that, make use of ilaplace command in MATLAB. Write ilaplace fs. So store this value in a variable double r. Now we are going to disp this value on the command window using the disp command. So write disp inverse Laplace transform is. So finally write disp rr. Now after this we are going to run it and see the output on the command window. Here you can see the inverse Laplace transform is T. So we can see that output is in terms of T. Now suppose if a input signal is having value in terms of two symbols. So for that we need to define two symbols first. Here we are going to find the uh, inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon S minus A. So run it and see the output on command window. Here we can see inverse Laplace transform is exponential a cross t so we can again change the value let's find the inverse laplace transform of a upon s square minus a square so run it and see the output on command window here you can see we get the inverse laplace transform as exponential at by 2 minus exponential at by 2 thanks for watching